Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap. Today is Friday, December 4th. Hope everybody had a fantastic week of trading. Uh, ended the week on a small red day, minus $161.75. And for the week, uh, positive, uh, $2,131.75. So overall, a winner this week. Uh, if we break it down by, well, let's start with today. So today we took four Mighty 90 trades, just four small winners, all, all of which were winners, but just small trades, uh, basically scratched Facebook, PayPal, Tesla, uh, and a little bit bigger in Piton. I was just keeping my position size super small today. I wasn't 100% confidence in the setups that were happening, happening but uh, took small positions and, and ended up being winners. Uh, no pairs trades today, and then the runners uh, had a red day in the runners minus three forty two seventy five. Small winner in Facebook of eighty four bucks. Uh, loser in Baba. A nice winner in Microsoft. Uh, Piton was a loser. Roku was a loser. Small winner in the S and P's, and a loser in Zoom Zoom. So uh, overall for the week, plus twenty six forty three twenty five on the runners. Just had the one pairs trade for thirty nine fifty, and then uh, weekly P and L for mighty ninety minus five fifty one. So small or red red week for the mighty ninety, but uh, but nice and green overall. So let's take a look at our trades today, and go through those really quick. Starting with, uh, I'll start with the mighty nineties with Facebook. Let's go to Facebook here is right here so in facebook had this uh this big push up we got short right here uh and then on this little flush down actually we got we started getting short about right here so it pushed up against us a little bit and then came back down and that's why we just booked a small profit uh piton take a look at piton had this flush down in piton and we cut the, a little bit of this bounce Kind of chopped around on us for a while and finally pushed up and um and but before it pushed up we just went ahead and bailed right there so didn't didn't get to participate in any of that but still booked a small winner and then paypal we don't trade paypal a lot but took a little trade here on this big push up uh, we got short and it took a little bit out of this this little pullback here and then tesla our old friend tesla which is just firing up here at the end of the day uh, in Tesla, I uh, had this initial push up. I was, again, I was staying super small. Uh, a, I'm shorting Tesla, which I don't necessarily like doing these days. Uh, so I just took, a, I just did it with one contract and caught a little bit of that for a nice little winner. So those are our mighty 90 trades. Uh, let's take a look at some of our runners, uh, starting with Facebook. So in Facebook, uh, this thing just was, it was looking weak all day after this initial push up just came all the way back down and just chopping under yesterday's low. Uh, so we got short and finally, I mean, we stayed in this thing basically all day. Didn't get out of this thing until like two 30 in the afternoon, which I don't like to do, but, uh, you know, just, it just continued to have the price action to make, make it, make me think it was still going to go down. We did have this, took a little heat right here. In fact, on this push up, I was, I was trying to add right there, never got filled and it just ran down. And so I just left my original position on and finally phew, broke down and, uh, and booked a little winner there to end the day. Uh, Alibaba, uh, this was a, a negative runner. So this one, I mean, this had this initial flush down and was just consolidating here and it was grinding, grinding, grinding. We were up about anywhere from three to 7% on this trade all day. And then it ended up just pushing up on us. And I, you know, I was getting close to the end of the day. So I just closed it out, took a loss on that one. Uh, Microsoft cut a not, really nice runner here. Uh, again, this was one where, you know, it started off strong and then came back down and then started consolidating here. And even when the NASDAQ was pushing higher, Microsoft did not. So we got short and, uh, and, and caught this entire runner down here to the pivot. So nice. Uh, that was my biggest winner of the day. Plus 366. Piton. We tried to catch a runner in Piton. Um, and, and that was right after we got out of our uh, mighty 90s was consolidating here. I uh, thought we were going to see another push lower, but it didn't. It pushed up, so it just flushed us out. We just we just took that off. Roku was another loser of a runner. 
this is a situation where it started off strong, came down, tested unchanged for the day and bounced right back up. And it started consolidating above this pivot. I really thought this thing was going to fire up to the upside. It did not, it just kind of pushed down. So we just cut our losses out pretty quick on that one. Uh, S&P, we took a, we took a uh, runner in the S&P futures. Uh, as price, you know, I made this initial push higher, started consolidating here. We got long right in this area here and just rode it up to about back to the high and ended up getting out about right here. So nice little winner in the S&Ps. And then lastly, Zoom. We, uh, we took a loss in Zoom. I was looking for a continuation lower here in Zoom. Uh, it, just, it was just chopping around uh, in negative territory. Tried a couple times to go positive, a couple times to go positive. And when it came down to the lows of the day and started consolidating under this pivot, I was looking for a continuation lower. Did not happen, so pushed up, so took a loss there. So overall, down $161.75 for the day, but up $2,131.75 for the week. Uh, I thought I thought the price action this week was a little goofy, um, and so you know to be able to book a couple thousand dollars on a, a week where the price action was a little off, uh, that's uh, I'm good with that. So. Hope that helps. If you guys have any questions, let me know. We will be starting our stream live on Monday in Discord. So we've been doing it uh, till this point in Zoom, which has been fine. But we've got a new Discord uh, platform ready to roll. There's the closing bell. Uh, and so we will be streaming live in Discord. It's got some other cool capabilities and benefits for our members. And so make sure you check the live stream room. We'll have the link in there if you haven't already signed up. And look forward to seeing you there on Monday. We'll have another great week. We'll, we're streaming every day next week. So look forward to that. Everybody have a great weekend. We will talk to you Monday.